What's up everybody, Trolling Gaming here. So, uh, South Park The Fractured Butthole, what a great title, right? Uh, the game is obviously coming out tomorrow. Uh, Ubisoft actually provided me with a quick early review code, so I could actually bring this review out to you all uh, before the game is coming out, so I can recommend it or not, which is pretty cool, so thanks for that. Uh, it's really quite simple to me, honestly, having played the game now for about 11 hours. Um, yeah, this is like one of the easiest reviews, I think, that I can do, because the game is made, and this might sound so obvious, but it's made for South Park fans, like nothing more, nothing less. Um, I think that if you're a South Park fan, there's a lot here to enjoy, you know. If you're not, then th the game is just a little bit, I guess, too basic, too simple um, for you to enjoy it gameplay-wise, because like it's all about the setting, the story, and the characters at the end of the day, you know what I mean? So I would say, you know, yeah, get this game if you're a South Park fan, it's really that simple. Um, let's actually get into it though, you know, I've personally had lots of fun with it. I, I am somebody who really enjoys, you know, South Park. I don't watch the TV show, like, every single episode or something, but I've seen a good, you know, 40 episodes or whatever in my life uh, to the point where, yeah, I, I sadly don't have as much time as I would want to to watch everything, you know what I mean? But I enjoy it for what it is a lot. Um, and so I could really enjoy this game at the same time as well. Uh, Story-wise, obviously, it's some, some you know, some, some ridiculous uh, 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 plot, which is the fact that you you're trying to forge this superhero army with all the characters from the universe, Cartman still being my favorite. Um, the main goal is to rescue a lost cat and to go up against this other rival superhero group. That's pretty much what the story consists out of, but you know that in traditional South Park fashion, it's gonna go batshit crazy basically. There's just lots of characters you're gonna be coming across, uh, quests that you will be doing and stuff. And so uh, the story, you know, like it, it's just it's just so much fun. It's funny. You, you're in this universe that really feels like that the game feels like you're watching the South Park cartoon uh, as well and that's that's what's so great about it because it makes it so authentic it makes it feel literally like yeah you're watching it and stuff I think one little critique that I had towards the story is the fact that seeing as it is so long um, you know at least a good 15 hours or something that you can put into it for sure uh, I feel like the game could have had maybe a bit more highlights like I enjoyed it for what it was and the conversations are funny and stuff but it does have like massive highlights these moments that you're gonna be remembering for a long time that much I felt especially for something that is so long I was hoping for that to be a bit more of those type of highlights if you know what I mean so that's like a little gripe I had with it Damn kids! Clear! As I was saying, you can't stop the king! He is all powerful! Presentation wise, though, you know, once again, I don't really have to tell you too much. If you've played the Stick of Truth as well, you will notice already, but, um,. The presentation is flawless. I just said it. It's like watching a South Park, uh, uh, a South Park, uh, uh, yeah, you know, cartoon episode or whatever, right? There's a couple of maybe audio bugs I encountered, but really, that's that's as far as it goes. As far as really technical issues that I had, I played on the PS4 Pro, so I can't really speak for other platforms, of course, as far as frame rate dips maybe goes or something. But I've had pretty much a flawless experience there, as far as presentation goes. I mean, just everything they do to make that world stand out so much, and how they add the the regular open world type of gameplay elements like fast travel how they add it into the world with these little checkpoints that you can go to and then there's uh, you know Jimmy that's about to like pick you up and he's the superhero that can get you to places fast so that's how the you know fast travel is incorporated they pretty much find a funny way to have every single traditional you know gameplay element that you know from so many other games to have it stand out in this and that's what I what I absolutely love about it um, at the end of the day though this is very much a game that you yeah play for the, both the story and then the gameplay is also a huge part of it um, at its core not much really changed from the stick of truth I do want to really quickly point out I only played like two hours of that game but I made sure to watch a couple of reviews before I actually did this one of the old game so I could see what exactly changed and I guess everything pretty much you know changed about it but but in in small ways I guess the gameplay elements are still the same you're basically doing three things one is exploring South Park um, 
which you know now they did something new to it which is you can use all of these new skills that you can pretty much unlock throughout the game so for example um, you know in the beginning of the game you'll be walking through the world and you'll see this point where it looks like you can kind of like fly up a building or whatever right but you can't do that yet because you haven't unlocked the skill and as far as you know when the when the story finally starts progressing you will unlock that and that way you'll be able to go up there and maybe get some collectibles or something extra so they they added these you know little elements that you that you can unlock Unlock stuff with in the world. Um, there, there's a couple of these moves, the thought moves that they have in the game now, which are going to be able to make you have the, you know, the time stand still, so you can actually pass certain areas that you normally couldn't pass. Um, or you can even use that in combat, so you can, for example, have a guy uh, skip his turn that way if you actually use that same ability. So you can use those both in the open world and in the combat uh, parts. And speaking about combat, that's really like the biggest thing gameplay-wise about it, because it feels like every quest. Is is about the same thing, you know, it's walking into a certain room, you're gonna have a South Park-like conversation and cutscene kind of happening, which is funny, uh, and ultimately, it will it will almost always lead into a combat scenario, you know, so it's obviously still a simple turn-based RPG. Uh, this time around, though, it seems, because I, I couldn't really tell that that was in the, uh, in the, the stick of truth, uh, uh, you know, at all, but they have this grid now, so you can actually have your characters move over a certain grid, um, and they'll all have moves that, that that really play into this grid where you know you, you can only for example hit a certain character with a certain move if he stands like two blocks away from you you know what I mean so in that way you're gonna have to kind of like uh, play a bit more strategically than before Obviously, you can still choose characters, uh, you can choose the attacks that you want. I mean, during the game, you know, you'll start unlocking different classes that will have new moves, but it's always limited. You can only have four, four main moves, basically, that you will be able to use in a combat scenario. So you always got to pick and choose which attacks you like the most and which you think work the best together and stuff. Um, what I love is just, once again, how it seems so much like you're watching the cartoon even in combat. Like, for example... Um, you'll have certain, uh, 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 you know, like, like items that you can use or whatever, right? There's the Moses healing item or whatever. And the moment you start using that to revive your entire team or whatever, or to at least uh, heal them up, it will literally transition into this cutscene where it's like, meanwhile, in South Park, and you see something happening uh, that has effect on the combat scenario. So it's just done so flawlessly in that way, you know? It's just awesome the way it transitions. And there's just no, like, abrupt cuts or anything apart from, yeah, loading screen after you're done with a combat fight or you're maybe moving from area to area. That's pretty much about it, and that's what I absolutely love about it. Um, the last part is pretty much building out your character, so you can find costumes, uh, uh, you can get new classes and powers, like I said, new allies that you will unlock throughout the story. Uh, there's a you know, small little crafting aspect to it, I guess, which is very simple, you know, basically with everything you find in the world, you can just make healing items. Um, or these artifacts that will make you a bit more stronger. But it's very simple. Like, the game itself is pretty easy, I would say. I played on normal difficulty. I aced almost all of the fights that were in the game. And if I didn't, then really it's just kind of like trial and error. You do it all over again. You maybe try something slightly different. You mix it up a bit. Add a new ally and stuff. Or do some different moves. And it will, it will most likely work out. I even went into certain fights... Um, uh, 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 you know, with like uh, the, the below recommended might level, I guess, which is kind of your level in the game. So, you know, like, I, I think it's it's relatively simple. Play the game on hard difficulty if you want somewhat of a challenge. Uh, but yeah, you know, that's pretty much as far as it goes gameplay-wise. I thought also what I liked at the, uh, you know, final thing I want to uh, say about that is that I like how the gameplay slowly expands because in the beginning it felt really simple to me. There were no abilities that I had for the open world, so I was just walking around and talking to to characters and then when the combat would happen like I just had my standard moves and that was pretty much it so it starts off really simple but fortunately they do add you know a lot to it um, as time goes on and they do it at a, at a in a pretty nice balance to the point where even six or eight hours in you will be unlocking new stuff so that's great um, value wise the main story is at least 11 hours that's what I can say about it but uh, yeah I've, I've actually still not sadly beaten a game I wanted to make sure I could do this review for you before 
it would come out and stuff. Um, but Ubisoft did provide me with a guide so I could look up how far I was in it. And uh, it looks like I'm about like like a little further than three quarters of the way through. But yeah, I've already been playing for 11 hours, pretty much only doing the main story and stuff. Uh, so the game is quite long and that surprised me and that's good to see, you know. It is a one and done type of game. Like it is this game that you're, you're going to be probably playing once, maybe twice for the Platinum Trophy. And that's about it, you know, because it is like you're going to be re-watching a cartoon then by replaying it, you know what I mean? Um, there's some side quests and some unlockables and like I said, stuff that you will start to be able to unlock once you... Um, get these new abilities, these new movement sets uh, in the game that will make you able to go up on walls and stuff and unlock certain parts, so that's cool. But at the end of the day, the conclusion really is that this is a relatively simple game experience that's still a lot of fun to play, but you're supposed to buy this game if you're a South Park fan. You're gonna have a blast with it, it's really that simple, and uh, that's what I like to kind of like keep it at. I enjoyed it for what it was a lot, I thought it was great, I would give it an 8 out of 10. And then uh, with that being said, let me know your thoughts, if you're getting the game, what you thought of the review of course and then for now thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you again next time